Hey guys, what's up? Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. It's Christmas Day here for the people that celebrate Christmas. Um, I've got a big unboxing for you guys today. I've just gotten my Mac Mini from the Christmas tree and I am absolutely excited to unbox this thing for you guys. This is a supercharged model. I've upgraded this to the 2.6 gigahertz quad core i7 IV bridge processor. We've got four gigabytes of RAM in here, but I'm gonna be doing a 16 gigabyte uh, RAM upgrade to make this thing super speedy. We've got the Intel HD 4000 graphics chip inside of this. And uh, this thing will be a supercharged Mac mini. And ever since Apple announced this in October, uh, they've really enabled this to be a powerful computer and not just an entry-level Mac that's that's just a, a Mac, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a powerful Mac now, what you can do with the upgrades of the internals. So I think we're all ready to open this box up, see what's inside, and really get our hands on this Mac Mini. So I'm just going to take my unboxing knife here and slit the box. Let's get this bad boy opened up. That should be enough to get the shrink wrap off here. Pull that plastic up. And all we are left with is the box. All right, so let's pull this thing out. Sliding it out, it just kind of comes out of its little cardboard cover here very nice you can already see that beautiful unibody construction just like they have done on the macbook line macbook pro and macbook air both feature this beautiful finish on there i'm just gonna pull that little cover aside for a second while we remove the mac mini and see what's inside the box so i'll take out the system itself here on the front you can immediately see that ir sensor and um Basically, that allows you to use this as a home media center, and that can be your IR for your remote control. So it looks like we've got a Designed by Apple in California information package here. And we are greeted with the nice hello. And we've also got some information about OS X, like Safari, Mail, iTunes, uh, Calendar, some stuff like that. Apple also presents us with the usual two Apple stick sh stickers included in the box. And we've also got a packet that says Mac Mini. It's got some information on there. We've got some, uh, some stuff about warranty and stuff like that. In the box now, here you can see our DVI to HDMI adapter, which will allow you to plug this up to an external monitor if your monitor does have a DVI port, otherwise you will need to get a mini display port to VGA if you've only got the VGA connection. I happen to have a monitor that, in, that uh, is compatible with DVI, so this adapter will be fine for me. And inside the box, we've also got our power cable. This thing powers up the system to your power, and it is no power supply on this. The power supply is integrated right into the system itself, so that saves some clutter under your desk. All you've got is the power cable itself, which plugs in to your Mac. Alright, now I've got the Mac Mini back, and I'm just going to remove the shrink wrap. Get that out of the way. And I want to feel that nice unibody construction that this Mac Mini is made of. Get my camera in focus here. And there you can see it on my desk. So on the back, taking a look at the different ports, we've got our power cable input there. We've also got a gigabit ethernet port if you want to do a hardwired internet connection. We've got a Firewire 800 port there. We've also got our HDMI input if you want to hook this up to an external source like an HDTV. We've got our Thunderbolt port. We've got four USB 3.0 ports on board. We've got our SD card slot there. And we've also got our audio line in and line out connectors. And then on the bottom, that big black slot is your air intake um, component of the system. All right, so I've completed the initial setup and I'm just going to click set up and start your Mac. And there we go. I've got that beautiful 
OS 10 mountain lion screen and I'm ready to go so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run a Geekbench test to measure the performance of this system so remember this is the i7 clocked at 2.6 gigahertz running the s standard 4 gigs of RAM this is without the 16 gigabyte RAM upgrade that I'm going to be doing on this thing so I'm gonna start this test run some benchmarks on here and the reason I am not using a screen capture software is because I want to get this the most accurate as possible. The only thing I have running is Geekbench, and I don't want the screen capture to be eating up some of my memory usage. So let's just run this with my camera on my screen, and we'll see a clear score at what we get on this Mac Mini. I'm expecting to get a score somewhere above 10,000 which would be a very successful uh, result for me. I did this test on my MacBook Air uh, from 2010. It only has 2 gigs of RAM and a 128 gig SSD in there. I got a very low score. It was under 5,000. I think it was around 3,000, 3, somewhere in there. So let's see what we can get with this supercharged Mac Mini without the RAM upgrade of course. I also didn't opt for the Fusion Drive. I just figured I'd live with the standard system. So there we go. We've got our score 11,785. That is pretty solid guys. Give it a thumbs up if you think that's a sweet score for the Mac Mini there. So guys, that pretty much wraps up my unboxing of the late 2012 Mac Mini. As you guys could see, this is a pretty sweet product and gets some pretty sweet performance results on the Geekbench. If you guys really did enjoy this content, please hit up that subscription button as it really helps a lot. And uh, I hope you guys have a safe and happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.